Report number, September 3rd, 2024. Failure analysis of a failed Upanor PEXA pipe. Submitted by Joe Ludlow of Integrity Repipe 1. Scope of the assignment. On behalf of Integrity Repipe, to determine the root cause of failure of a submitted failed Upanor PEX A pipe. The pipe and the main crack were analyzed using optical and scanning electron microscopy, SEM. 2. Executive Summary Integrity Repipe submitted a leaking PEXA pipe assembly for forensic failure analysis to determine the root cause of the leak. The leak location was adjacent to the white compression ring used in the expansion fitting assembly. Visual examination of the surface area near the expansion fitting revealed severe crazing and pitting of the pipe surface coating. The pipe on the other side of the fitting that had no obvious leaks showed onset of crazing as well. Besides the main crack that caused the leak, a second smaller crack was observed that did not appear to have propagated through the pipe wall yet. The pipe was sectioned to open the main crack, exposing the fracture surface for fractographic analysis. The crack clearly initiated on the outside surface and propagated inwards. The fracture was of brittle nature, but displayed ductile behavior towards the crack arrest in the form of plastic deformation and stress whitening. Microscopic analysis further revealed that the coating was brittle and developed many cracks with the appearance of mud cracking likely during expansion of the pipe to install the expansion fitting. The surface of the pipe underneath the coating also appeared brittle and showed incipient cracks. PEXA is normally a very elastomeric and flexible material. However, in order to get the polar coating to stick to the nonpolar PEX surface, Upanor uses a patented flame treatment process to polarize oxidize the surface. It is well known that PEX degrades and turns brittle by oxidation. The flame treatment used to polarize slash oxidize the PEX pipe surface to get the coating to stick appears to be embrittling the pipe surface. Once the incipient cracks form on the outside surface of the pipe, the cracks continue to propagate by cyclic fatigue during normal use as the pipe undergoes normal operational pressure fluctuations. 3. Results and Discussion 3.1. Sample Inspection and Preparation Figure 1 shows the failed PEX-A pipe assembly as received. Mineral deposits on the pipe outside reveal the side that had leaked. The assembly consisted of an elbow expansion fitting with two red color-coded Upanor pipe sections. The main crack with the apparent leak path was located adjacent to the compression ring on the expansion fitting. A smaller crack that had not yet fully propagated through the pipe wall was evident. Both pipes showed crazing near the expansion fitting, figure two. The assembly was sectioned to isolate and open the crack for further microscopic analysis, figure three and figure four. Inspection of the inside surface at the location of the larger crack corroborated that the crack had extended entirely through the pipe wall to the inside surface. Figure 3. The fracture surface that is indicated by the arrow in Figure 4 was subjected to optical microscopy and SEM. Figure 1. Photograph of the leak PEXA pipe assembly as received. 
failed PEXA fitting pipe assembly. Mineral deposits reveal the pipe that leaked. Figure 2, photograph of the cracks and crazing which were found adjacent to the compression rings of the expansion fitting. Magnified representation shows the apparent leak location. Crazing and cracks directly adjacent to expansion fitting ring, apparent leak location. Crazing, incipient, smaller crack, main crack, leak location. Figure three, photograph of pipe after sectioning to isolate and open the leak. Magnified representation of the inside surface reveals that the crack had propagated through the pipe wall. Pipe section to isolate and open leak. Inside surface reveals crack propagated through leak location. Smaller crack. Figure four. The side with the fail pipe was completely sectioned and the crack opened for microscopic analysis. Tip of the arrow indicates location that was subjected to SEM analysis. Completely sectioned pipe assembly piece with fracture surface subjected to SEM. 3.2. Fractographic analysis of the crack. Optical microscope images of the sample showed that the color coating on the surface of the pipe was brittle as evidenced by extensive crazing and pitting. Figure 5 a magnified representation of a crater pit obtained by SEM is added. The microscopic image in figure six displays a cross-sectional view of the crack. Fractographic analysis of the crack reveals a fracture of brittle nature. The crack initiated on the outside surface underneath the brittle coating and radially propagated inwards. Ductile behavior of the PEX material was observed at the locations of crack arrest as evidenced by plastic deformation and stress whitening, meaning that the bulk of the material away from the embrittled fracture had remaining ductility. The SEM image in figure seven displays both the outer coating surface and the fracture surface of the crack. The image confirmed the extensive embrittlement of the coating, revealing characteristic patterns, i.e. mud cracking. Typical fractographic features on the fracture surface revealed that the crack propagated through the pipe wall by cyclic fatigue. The observed fatigue striations are typical and caused by operational pressure fluctuations. Figure 5. Microscopic image of the coating surface revealing severe pitting and crazing of the coating. The SEM image shows an exemplary representation of the crater slash pits in the brittle coating. Pitted coating surface crater slash pit in brittle coating. Figure six, microscopic image of the fracture surface revealing the initiation of the crack on the outside surface of the pipe with a radial crack propagation to the ID of the pipe. The fracture was brittle of nature, but showed signs of ductal behavior towards the crack arrest i.e. stress whitening and plastic deformation. Fracture surface. Initiation point. Brittle fracture. ODID. Stress whitening, ductal. Plastic deformation, ductal. Figure seven. SEM image of the fracture surface showing cyclic fatigue striations on the fracture and appearance of mud cracking on the brittle coating. SEM brittle coating, mud cracking appearance, cyclic fatigue. 3.3 Root cause of the failure. 
the most commonly observed failure in PEX piping is inside out caused by oxidative embrittlement of the inside surface as a consequence of hydrolysis, material degradation, and extraction of the protective antioxidants of the inside of the pipe wall. Once the antioxidants are depleted, which protect the pipe from oxidation by scavenging free radicals, the surface of the pipe rapidly undergoes oxidative embrittlement. The oxidative attack causes chain scission of the polymer chains on a molecular level and degrades the material. However, the failure of the herein observed Upanor color coded pipes is atypical. Rather than failure initiated by oxidative embrittlement of the inside surface, the oxidative embrittlement takes place on the outside surface. Upanor filed for a U.S. patent in 2009. The patent application, figure eight, describes the process they developed to color coat the pipe. In order to get the coating to stick to the outside surface of the pipe, they run the pipe through a furnace that oxidizes, burns the outside of the pipe. This is an oxidation process destroys much of the antioxidants from the outside surface. Figure eight, excerpt from Upanor's patent application describing the color coding process using flame treatment, which destroys antioxidants on the outside surface of the PEX pipe. Four, conclusions. The PEX pipe failed outside in adjacent to the compression ring of the expansion fitting. The color-coded surface of the pipe showed extensive embrittlement, evidenced by mud cracking, pitting, and crazing. The surface underneath the brittle coating appeared to be also brittle and showed incipient cracks. The crack initiated at an embrittled portion of the PEX pipe underneath the brittle coating and propagated by cyclic fatigue, typical for pressure fluctuations during operation. Upanor's patent application reveals a flame treatment in the coating process that results in depletion of antioxidants from the outside surface and embrittlement of the surface skin layer. Embrittled PEX is unable to withstand the strain of the expansion process used to form an expansion fitting. This can cause surface defects such as crazes and pits that over time transform into incipient cracks, which then propagate by fatigue due to normal operational pressure fluctuations.